The Simpsons as directed by Wes Anderson is both star-studded and a little weird in these new AI images. <laughs> I can't stand no more! Given the legendary status of The Simpsons in pop culture, the possibility of a live action take on the iconic animated series tends to spark interest, and a new showcase imagines what a live action take would look like if it were helmed by a filmmaker like Wes Anderson with his own unmistakable style and preferred set of collaborators. And there's where we make the worst damn comedy show, period. Some of the characters like Bart and Lisa look fairly anonymous, but others, such as frequent Anderson collaborator Tilda Swinton as Edna Krabappel and Tom Hanks as Principal Skinner, are pretty interesting. The same is true for actors like Ian McKellen as Mr. Burns and Paul Rudd as Ned Flanders stand out as other super fascinating choices. <laughs> Reoccurring guest Phil Hartman wanted to make a live-action film based on his Troy McClure character. This gained the support of several Simpsons staff members who wanted to help bring the project to life. It was even suggested that the episode A Fish Called Selma, in which Troy tries to revive his struggling acting career, could be used as a basis for the movie. However, the project was cancelled following Hartman's passing in 1998. So, maybe rather than focusing on casting the main characters, a live-action Simpsons might do better if it used the anime show as general inspiration and a marketing hook, but focused on a more minor character. Stranger Things star Finn Wolfhard is imagined as Bart's blue-haired friend Milhouse, for instance. That could make for a good comedic movie, in theory, and allow a little more space for originality. I specifically said no geeks. But my mom says I'm cool. Next. But it is good that The Simpsons has resisted the urge to make a franchise out of itself with adaptations and spin-offs, instead serving as the forerunner for other animated Fox shows like Family Guy and Bob's Burgers. In all honesty, if there were ever a compelling case to expand Springfield, it more than likely would have happened by now.